It's a way of the Mr. Quickie, oh yeah. In the very first verses of Acts, the author tells us that after the resurrection, Jesus appeared to the disciples over a period of 40 days, speaking of the kingdom of God. He even ate with them, but was criticized for not helping with the cooking or the dishes, though he did help them catch a boatload of fish. The author of John's Gospel tells us that Jesus did so many things in the days after his resurrection that if they were all written down, the whole world would not have room for the books written. Clearly, Jesus wanted to distinguish himself from all the other lazy, dying, resurrecting Godmen of the time. Kudos. Think about this for a minute. The resurrected Jesus, raised by God himself, spent six weeks with his disciples, taking that last weekend off, of course, telling them all about the kingdom of him, and rather than filling the world with books of his activities and insights, which would have been amazing, the disciples gave us exactly nothing. Jesus, too, is lacking in foresight and transparency. He didn't even give his disciples the new marketing plan, which focused on converting the Gentiles rather than his own people, those pesky, faithless Jews. This led to division in the early church, as only Paul had the marketing sense to know that Asking men to remove the hoodies from their little buddies was a deal breaker, even more off-putting than demanding people give up bacon. Having met with a number of the disciples, you'd think that Paul would have some stories to tell about those 40 days, right? If Jesus did so many amazing things, as the author of John tells us, Paul must have been privy to some of that. And yet no one writes of even a single thing the resurrected Christ did during those 40 days beyond eating and returning dad's keys after Jesus' earthly joyride. Jesus doesn't even clarify who he is during those 40 days in terms of this very new idea about the Godhead, the Trinity. Immediately after his resurrection, Jesus told Mary Magdalene not to touch him because he had not yet ascended to the Father, William Lane Craig's timeless, spaceless, immaterial being, who apparently has a really nice, spacious, material, in-time place just over the firmament. And that father figure is clearly not Jesus. Does that sound Trinitarian to you? Imagine all the amazing things this all-knowing, all-loving, all-powerful being could have told his disciples in those 40 days. Heck, imagine all the not-so-amazing things he could have told them, which would have alleviated so much suffering in the world. And I'm not just talking about things like the germ theory of disease or that all peoples, races, genders, etc. are equal. Within his own realm, Jesus could have been clear about all the various theological questions which have led over the centuries to horrendous violence. He obviously knew that theological questions would split his church east and west and inspire the Protestant Reformation, which led to centuries of war and suffering. Just a little clarification could have nipped all of that in the butt. Or, since his entire ministry, complete with all kinds of miracles, was carried out in public among the Jews and the Romans in and around the Holy Land, risen Jesus could have made an equally public appearance in Jerusalem after his resurrection, presenting himself to P.P. and the Sanhedrin in a way which made some historical noise and gave us all evidence of his victory over death. Those 40 post-resurrection days could and would have been amazing had they actually happened. The fact that we know virtually nothing about them from any of the disciples, including Paul, is damning. The fact that even Jesus' life story pre-resurrection was left to anonymous non-eyewitnesses decades later is even more so. It makes me feel like if Jesus didn't think this stuff important enough to bother, maybe we shouldn't either. Once again, I'm me. Thanks for watching. Hey gang, thanks again for watching. You know, a lot of people think that Jesus' willing death on the cross was the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate act of love, the act which saves us all from a fate worse than death. 
But I think I've got Jesus beat. Every month for more than a decade and a half now, I have put my own physical, mental, and spiritual health in jeopardy, watching an horrendous litany of content so vile, so intellectually profane and vapid, few others would survive with their sanity intact. I willingly, happily march into that storm for you, knowing that while I may indeed have to expose you to the poison, I will always come bearing the antidote, the cleansing power of reason and the inevitable influence of satire, snark, and whimsy. I don't merely enlighten as some others do. I entertain as well. If, if only I had been there for Kurt. And this is no one-time 36-hour gig for me, crashing in the tomb of some rich guy and waking up to your eternal envy and admiration. No, this is an everyday salacious slog through a wasteland of sophistry so depraved it makes their lord's brief time on the cross look like a friday night at the playboy mansion on top of that i'm doing what i can to spare us all not from some imagined hell but the real thing the judeo-christian right who would do for america what the taliban has done for afghanistan they've already taken our sister's bodily sovereignty seized our tax dollars for religious education and put prayer back in schools where it has absolutely no business. And St. Justice Thomas has made it perfectly clear, they're just getting started. Now, I'm not the type to beg, I think you know that. But if you can afford to, head on over to patreon.com forward slash Mr. Deity and become a patron. If that's too much of a commitment, seek the help of a professional and hit that thank you button just below the video to give what you can right now. I may not be conquering death and rising from the dead, but I am raising awareness and hopefully making you smile. That's got to be worth something, right? To all of my wonderful patrons and everyone else who's helped out, thank you, 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 thank